Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if a network cable is not properly plugged in or maybe broken error. You're coming across and running the, the Internet Connections Troubleshooting Utility in Windows 10. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and I'm just going to verbally give the instructions because there really isn't that much to show if you're getting this error message. But I did want to hit on a few potential fixes that I wanted to cover. So the first thing I would suggest doing would be to actually go ahead and check the power supply of the router. So go and locate the router wherever it may be in your proximity and unplug it and plug it back into the wall or if there is a reset button on the router itself go and select that, hold it down, and then reset the router, wait about 30 seconds to a minute, and then attempt to regain your internet access, so attempt to browse the internet once again, see if that has resolved the problem. You can also try, if you're using an Ethernet connection, try disconnecting it from the router, and then just plug it back in, see if that's resolved the problem, or you can swap it out with a different cable, perhaps. Could offer a different solution there. And I actually will show one additional option that will involve going through the operating system. So we're going to go open up the star menu, type in troubleshoot, best match to come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. So we're going to be running a different troubleshooting utility than the one that you likely ran in order to get that error message. So we're going to scroll down underneath get up and running and find and fix other problems until you get to network adapter, find and fix problems of wireless and other network adapters, and select that. And then left click on run the troubleshooter. So if you were having problems, it would likely identify some issues and then I would suggest rectifying whatever it lists as potential sources of the issue. And then you just would go from there, probably restart your computer wouldn't be a bad idea and hopefully it would have been able to resolve the problem. One further thing you can try would be to close out of here, open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt, right click on it and then select run as administrator. If you are prompted with the user account control window, select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to type in ipconfig, exactly as it appears on my screen, space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front, hit enter on your keyboard, should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. And if all else fails, you can try running a network reset. You will have to re-enter your Wi-Fi password once you restart your computer. Just make sure you have that handy uh, before you do it. But that's kind of like a final resort there. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it will cause a minor inconvenience. You will have to re-enter your network credentials. So we're just going to type in network reset. Best match, just come back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. It's going to say this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN, client software, or virtual switches. So you just re select reset now. You will need to restart your computer for it to take effect and then once you restart your computer, enter back in your internet login credentials and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.